Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On April 23, 2024, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu unveiled plans for the armed forces to receive new military assets by year's end, including the initial deployment of the S-500 Prometheus anti-aircraft missile system in two different configurations. Alongside, systems such as the S-400, S-300V4, Buk M-3, and Tor M-2U anti-aircraft missile systems, as well as new generation radar stations, are slated for delivery. Given the focus on air defense systems, it is probable that these assets are intended for deployment in Ukraine. Shoigu also announced an escalation in weapon production by the Russian military-industrial complex, citing increased threats from Western countries. Notably, he highlighted a significant reduction in the development timeline for these weapons, indicating a shift from 5 to 8 years to 4 to 7 months, a pace unseen since World War II. Russian media featured insights from Oleg Glazunov, an associate professor and expert from the Association of Military Political Scientists, who emphasized the strategic importance of the S-500 air defense system. Glazunov outlined its capability to intercept intercontinental ballistic missiles and engage targets in near-Earth orbit. He suggested that the deployment of such advanced systems serves as a deterrent to NATO and American military planners, underscoring Russia's bolstered air defense capabilities. The Russian-made S-500 Prometheus, also referred to as the 55R6M Triumphator M, signifies a significant leap in air defense technology. Developed by Almazanti, this latest generation system is engineered to neutralize a broad spectrum of aerial threats, including intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, hypersonic cruise missiles, and low-orbit satellites, at altitudes up to 200 kilometers. Initiated in 2009, the S-500 program saw its first prototype completed by 2012, demonstrating capabilities surpassing earlier models. The Russian armed forces received their initial pre-production prototypes in 2016, enhancing defensive capabilities strategically. The system's final testing phase concluded on February 22, 2024, validating its effectiveness in intercepting hypersonic targets, renowned for their agility and evasion tactics. Central to the S-500's prowess are its missile technologies, featuring the 77N6N and 77N6N1 missiles, capable of hypersonic speeds and kinetic impacts. These missiles extend the system's reach to distances of up to 600 kilometers, with a rapid response time of 3 to 4 seconds, surpassing its predecessor, the S-400. Mounted on the BAZ-6909 vehicle family, known for its mobility across various terrains, the S-500 ensures rapid deployment, critical for agile combat scenarios. The system's radar array, including the 91N6A, M, acquisition and battle management radar, enhances situational awareness, allowing for effective coordination against multiple threats. Other radars like the 96L6 TSP acquisition radar and the 77T6 ABM engagement radar contribute to detecting and engaging potential threats, enabling the system to address simultaneous attacks effectively. That's all for now, see you later.